Whoa, so many bracelets. Well, three. And so many colors. So wide and big. That's right. It's the five row fishtail. Whoop, whoop. This is pretty much a beginner level bracelet. And I'm going to show you how to make it. I've already made two. This one my friend made. And I was just begging her to make a tutorial, but it took too long. So I found the tutorial um, that somebody made that she told me that she learned it from. It wasn't a very high quality video, um, but I could still see what she was doing, and also it was really hard to hear her. So me and my friend are like, well, what if we make a tutorial on it, just us? Well, anybody could probably make a video on it, but we love making tutorials on videos, and sorry, the colors are off. But, um, so we decided to make a better, um, louder video, especially mine, because my, this camera attracts a lot of sound. So let's get started. Um, I already made these two designs and I think it's best if you use clear. I kind of was just copying the way she did hers. But this one I did clear between the colors and it turned out great. Even though you can't officially see the real color combination. This one you can. So if you want to do rainbow design you can do that kind. Or you can do the same kind of rainbow design just with um, your favorite color. Maybe you have a few different colors of blue. Or, um, like I made that one, since I love blue so much. And this one I did a teal, purple, and clear. There you go, focus for me. The teal's a little bit darker, so it's a little bit more prettier in real life. But, those are some of the idea designs. Now, I kind of already got one started on my loom, and I totally figured I was going to make a video on it. And it's yellow and blue. So, um, I will get this one done before we... The tutorial, so I'll show you on my other loom, and at the end, you probably will see a totally different bracelet, so don't be alarmed. But you only need one loom for this. If you keep at it and keep working on it, it does not take that much time. But if you kind of, like, do, like, about 20, 15, 10 minutes on each one, it might take a while. So, especially if it depends on your a fast loomer or not. But you only need one loom and 10 pegs if you're going to do a five row. So let's get started to the loom placement. So first you're going to want to pop out that middle row. And my middle row is kind of stuck right now. So if I can get it up. <clears throat> okay. So get that middle pin row popped up. So it should kind of just look like this. Then you are going to take this um, other end blue base kind of. And you're going to just kind of grab it. You're going to keep it, but you're going to move it down so no pins are showing. And if you have to for the middle piece, there we go. So you kind of have this right now. You're going to turn your loom around so the if there was arrows, there would be pointing to the, your right. Then flip it back upside down. And you're going to put it, I'm sorry, wrong side. <laughs> you're going to put it down right next to that one that was on the right. So your loom should pretty much just look like this to be spa um, <laughs> spaces. And then there should be this big open spot. And there will be about one, two, three, four um, in the very middle. But you'll have to like put, you'll have to choose either another set right here or another set right here they will be above the blue pieces but trust me they will not touch so I'm gonna use this pin this pin this pin this pin and this pin and it can't get a full view of it in the thing so in the camera but that's okay so for this bracelet that I will show you later is a purple uh, I mean not a purple a yellow and blue and I probably will continue but I'm gonna use black for this one oops Runaway rubber band. That happened in my last video, too. <laughs> and I'm going to use glow-in-the-dark white, which I have not opened up yet. Which is very surprising because I like my rubber bands open in my case. I just don't have room right now. So some glow-in-the-dark white rubber bands from Rainbow Loom. So, so that is that. Whoa. Whoa. Rubber bands everywhere. Even though you can't see. <laughs> so this is pretty... Pretty, pretty easy. Um, doesn't use too many bands. It depends on how many colors you add to it. 
um, about, if you use like this many colors, like the rainbow colors, and you add black and clear into the mix of that, it's going to be about, it's about 20 bands per each color, but since I'm just doing two colors, it's a little bit more. Now, there is a color inside the middle of these bands. Like, if you fold it like this, you can kind of just see. Hold on. Focus. You can see that there's clear and black bands to hold it all together in the middle. Now, they're not really seeable. But I did use white in this one. And on the clear, you can kind of see it a little bit if you look at it a certain way. So, I'm going to use a clear... Um, a clear one for this normal clear for the middle of that. So you just need a few of those because we don't use them each time we do it. But now, and also you'll need five C-clips. So I'll, let's get started on the tutorial. Finally. Okay, so let's get started. So first, since it's a simple fishtail, you know how you start all fishtails. My first color is going to be black so just grab five single blacks and you're going to start on one and you're going to place it into a figure eight single bands this whole thing is single bands and you're going to do that on five pins oops that are pretty much just across from each other so you'll do that on five. Okay, now take your white bands and you're gonna go, come on, straight across with your white bands and take your clear band and you're gonna go over all those white bands and stuff. Push them down, take a black one and you're going Place them on a top. Then grab your hook and you're gonna go around in the inside of the band. I'm just gonna loop over that bottom black band. So I just pretty much was inside already, so I just grabbed that bottom band. So just grab the bottom band when you're inside of the clear band. These are all inside. Um, now this one's not inside, so pretty much you just want to move this white band out of the way. Oh, it's on top. Whoops. You're going to kind of go in and around, grab that black band, and now it was inside. So the edges will be a little bit more tensioned, and uh, the middle won't be so much. But now on the other side, you're going to grab just the regular and the infinity on that side, just so just grab the very bottom one and loop over. That one's just pretty easy because you're just grabbing the bottom one. You don't have to worry about any other bands. So now grab your um, clear band or whatever color band you use for the middle. And you're going to pull it off the peg and put it right there. So now we need five white again. Now, since we already placed one, we're going to place another round of bands without a clear. So, you'll just do white. Wait, so do it, do it, do it, do it. So much. Then, you'll just grab the very bottom ones regularly, regularly. I can't say it so, today, sorry. And you're just going to regularly, sorry, I can't say it. Um, just loop them over on each side, like this. So, there's no clear band on that one. Now, place a clear band on this one. Sorry, maybe I should zoom up a little bit. Take five of the, the next color, mine's black. And you're going to place them right on top of the clear. Or above the clear, not really on top of it. Oops. Okay. Now, on the side that doesn't have the clear band, you're just going to take the very bottom one. And, of course, loop it over. Sorry, can't really 
look for these ones. Sorry if I go a little bit faster. It's just because, to me, it's very easy, especially since I've made a few. So, so push it down. Then, just you can kind of just grab the very bottom one again in the inside. If you start from up here, you're already inside the clear. So, you can just grab that bottom one. Then, when you get to here, you'll need to go in here inside it and just grab the bottom one don't go into anything like that grab the clear band pull it up and over so now it's not on uh, the pegs no more push it down and add another layer so the pretty much the pattern is you um place a row of color with so you pretty much just start like that then you don't place you place a row and loop it without a clear band then like it is right now and just loop the bottom normally and then the next row when you place you'll place a clear band and then place another row and loop the bottom of it so just do that on um, like that so that's pretty much the pattern if you already got it you can just um fast forward to where i end it and i probably will end twice because i want to get both my bracelets done so i have my real rain balloon back i don't have to use my counterfeit one no more so i'll probably end it twice for you guys so you just guys can kind of remember there we go so we just placed our clear band this is the row with the um with the clear band so now you'll just place them right above that clear band. And you will loop the bottom one. It really doesn't matter which way you put the clear, what side you put the clear band on. Oops, I shouldn't have looped. Didn't, I'm glad I didn't loop that. Um, doesn't really matter what side you put the clear band on. It could be on the side that doesn't have a clear, that does, does never have a clear band, the one I just looped. Or it can pretty, it doesn't really matter, um, but um, I like to do it on this side because I'm making that blue one on the opposite side, I believe. So remember to go into that, and this one's a little overlapped, but I'm still going to grab it because it's it already claimed its spot. And then I usually just use my fingers for that part, and then I smash my hand like that. So as you can probably maybe see... But it's starting to form, and it probably will not um, be pushed together fully until you've done quite a few rows. Um, I did, for my bracelets, I do 47 rows. This one has 48, but one loop really made, one row of, of it really made a difference. And this one fits me perfectly, and this is 47 rows, I believe. So, I'm going to do 47 rows on this one right here that I was doing, and also this one. So, I have two to finish for you. Once I finish both of these bracelets completely with 47 rows each, I will total, I'm going to, I'll tell you how to finish the bracelet off, and I'll we i'll show you t um the exact same way just twice so you guys can remember how to do it so yeah um i'll see you guys after i do 47 rows on each one also remember the please remember the pattern i would not want you to mess up on this bracelet it is too cool to do that so also remember to do the clear band and then Stephanie, also if you leave it, remember which one you're on. Another, um, just a little quick tip. Um, when after, you know which row you're on if you left it, if you have the clear band on top and there is no, if there's a row on top of the clear band, that means that you need to do a clear row. If the clear looks like it, come on, focus. If it, sorry, it's not really focusing, but if it looks like that, if it looks like a clear band is on top on the last row that you did, 
like this one is, then that means you need to do one row without a clear band. So that's just like a little tip there, just to kind of let you know so you can remember on your rows and stuff. So, yeah. Um, so I'll be right back after I get 47 rows on each one, not counting the ones I already have on my loom. So if also to count, remember when you count, you count from the very capping, count the capping band, and up all the way to the ones that are still on the pin. They still count as a row because they will end up being a row soon. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, first off, yes, the light is different. It's only because I filmed the first part of the video on how to make it um, about two hours ago, and then I kind of did it for a little bit, and I had to do some stuff. Um, that took about an hour and 30 minutes, so the rest of the time I was making the bracelets. Just finished now, though, so I have both of them, and they're both the length I need. So let's do this one first and this is how you finish it it doesn't matter if the white bands on top like mine or if there is no if the white band is covered like that other one is so pretty much you're just gonna grab the bottom band on each one and you're gonna just loop it over when you only have two on there one might disappear, one might be really loose, like mine are, <laughs> so don't be alarmed. Okay, now you should have something like this, one band on each peck. Sorry you can't really see too well, but then you'll take the one that's across on the end, and you can teach, take it, any end, and you'll put it to itself. So take the other across end, and you'll place it across. Make sure you put your finger in the middle when you're pulling the band over, only because you don't want to lose it. Okay. So now you should have this. Now grab your five C-clips. I haven't even got mine out yet. And there's five. You're gonna take the C-clip, get the two on the end, like that. Man, the lighting, like, changed to bright. That's really weird. Take the other one. I don't have the flesh one. So you'll just hook all of the loops one at a time. Make sure you get both loops. And our last one. Boom. Now, done with this, and I'll fix my room later. So this is my bracelet. It is not orange, it's yellow. It's not the prettiest bracelet, but somebody will love it. So then, when you're done, take the C-clip on one side and hook it on to the capping man. So there's my one. Now I'll show you how to end it one more time, just in case. So this one is end, didn't end with a uh, clear band on the top, like that other one, but still pretty much the same. You'll just take the very bottom band on both sides and lift it up. Sorry, I know I'm zoomed out, it's just... Never zoomed in. Which would have been helpful. But you just grab the bottom band normally, like that, and I like to give it a little tug. Then take this band, put your hand in the middle, hook it over, and then finger in the middle. I just like putting my finger in the middle. I think it helps so you're because when you pick it up it immediately like loosens and it's a little harder. I'd like to give it one more little good tug. Sorry, my other one got in the way. Then grab another five C clips or S clips or pretty much any clips you have. I just forget I have more C clips. <sighs> pretty much anyone. <laughs> the only good thing about this is that I have so many C clips and this bracelet helps get rid of them. So just 
cook them one by one. Sorry, this is very boring. It just takes me a minute to get all these cooked. Okay. Then here's my bracelet. Okay. Yay, I got two free looms now. So this is my other one. I really love this one. So then just hook it on the hook the capping bands. Like that. Make sure you hook both. Okay, so here's my other one. So that's my detour um detour. <laughs> yes, I am doing a detour. Um that is my tutorial on how to make the amazing five row fishtail. Can you can you see that? Awesomeness. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a big thumbs up. Dude, I should have turned this on a long time ago. But I hope you guys liked this video. Um, if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also let me know how yours turned out in the comments down below. If you have any more ideas for me, also put those in the comments down below. And thank you for making this guy with me, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Please like this video and subscribe. And also, please let me know which one is your favorite bracelet out of all of these. Okay, so here, I'll show you. I'll show you. So I have these two. So it's counting the ones that I just made, too. And boom. Okay, guys. Bye. See you next time. Stay tuned.